What's that? A quick 15 second plug for my new monthly newsletter full of the latest and greatest modeling and texturing from not only me, but articles I've loved around the web, including this awesome elf horse breakdown and details on 3D resource discounts and more. Sounds way too good to be true. <laughs> Links in the description below. Cool. Oh boy. It's the big one. Mario versus Substance. So I'm going to start this off with a bit of disclaimer on my scripts that that's why I'm looking like that. Um, I use both of these pieces of software at work. I have used both and I will use both again. And these are just my personal opinions. If you have thoughts about them, you can go off in the comments. That said, these are the opinions of a VFX artist that has textured on a lot of big films, textured on Elite Battle Angel, Detective Pikachu, and Fantastic Beasts, to name a few recently, and The Mummy, but we just don't talk about that one. Now I'm going to go against the clickbait title and just give the answer up front. Um, Mari. Mari is the answer. Substance versus Mari, you should know Mari. Hi, Editor Mike here. Um, the ideal situation is you know both. Learn both. I don't feel like I got that across until the end of this video, but learn both if you can. Um, and if you're satisfied with that answer, you can Google anything else, like dogs dressed as cowboys, I do it all the time. Or you can stick around to hear why I got to that answer. I'm going to go through the pros and cons of both, or you can click on my channel and there's texturing videos on there to learn how to use Mari and Substance. Obviously, all these statements here are my own. This isn't a Sponpo or whatever influencers are calling getting paid to give something a good review these days. And both of the pieces of software are great. One of them's really good at some things, the other's really good at other things. So here's all the categories we're going to be going through. Also, if you are going to skip through this video, I'd recommend at least just watching the final thoughts bit. If you can't bother to watch the rest, I feel like I sum it up in a slightly more cohesive way at the end. Cool. So first category is ease of use. And well, Substance wins this one hands down. It's quick and easy to get started with, and you can mess around with smart materials and get stuff textured pretty quickly. That said, there is a difference between dragging and dropping materials and actually understanding the fundamentals of texturing. If you're going to use just Substance, I recommend understanding what every map does and how it affects a shader, rather than just randomly messing with sliders till you have a look that works. So Mari side, elephant in the room, Mari is kind of a nightmare to learn. Understanding what a paint buffer is is a headache when you first use it. Color space, what the hell are you talking about? I vividly remember the first time I tried to use it and not understanding why the paint wouldn't go on my mesh. I've been there, I get it, it's frustrating. It will be okay, I promise. Shameless plug, if you're looking for videos on learning Mari, I got you. But guess what? When you know how to use it, you know how to texture. You know how channels work and you understand everything behind it. So if you have to learn a new piece of texturing software like Substance or anything else after that, guess what? It's going to be easy because you understand the fundamentals. See why I said Mari is a must know for VFX? Next category, projecting images and reference. Substance's projections, to me, are slightly lacking. While it has the standard methods of projecting, I personally find using stencils and the like a little bit fiddly compared to Mari's. That said, you can do it and it completely works. There are some things though, like for example, the triplanar, you just can't get the same amount of fidelity that you can in Mari. And it can be difficult to split out projections. Say for example, you're projecting a channel packed map, like a texturing XYZ skin maps. You can't then split out those channels easily like you can in Mari. I've always found getting ref into substance a little bit of a headache too compared to Mari's drag and drop into the image library, but I think that's just me and it's all completely doable. Mari's projecting images and references is good. It takes a bit of time getting used to, like a lot of the program, but being able to project images easily into your paint nodes and layers is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. They also added the projection node recently, which is an awesome addition and it's kind of just like substances in the fact that you can move the projection in world space and then you can switch out the image later. Next category, materials. So Mari has materials. They're nowhere near as easy as substances to set up or use, but when you have made some, you can set up your own library much like substances if you really wanted. In a company, this may be very useful where people can share them, but if you're by yourself, then it's probably more hassle than it's worth, or at least that's what I personally think. It's so cool that they're there, but personally I do everything that a material is inside the node graph instead of inside a material. I'm really glad they added it though because it, it can greatly speed up workflows if you're importing references or materials from outside sources, like Substance Designer for example. So materials for Substance. Substance takes this one again. Substance has a great library of preset materials and if I'm using the software I often start with these or ones that I've made myself and saved. If you do use them I recommend to not use a preset as cool as it looks to start with it becomes kind of obvious when everyone's reel consists of personal work with the smart material machinery. I know it's cool, but just use it as a base. Also, because you've got designer, you can make your own materials quite easily and quickly, and they're all tiling, which is fantastic. Next category, matching reference. So matching reference is doable on both. You can get good results from both. If a supervisor asked me to texture a hard surface asset to match reference, I would use Substance to start, and then I'd finish it in Mari. Why? Because Substance is a great start and it's quick. The baking is amazing, but it's lacking proper color space, UDIM support, and you can't really paint from one texture set or UDIM to another, which makes it really cumbersome. 
So I'll often get a base in there and then finish off the details in Mari. If it's an organic asset, I would only use Mari. I've seen great organic assets textured in substance. Literally, I saw some good ones yesterday. But my initial thought is, why? It doesn't really have good skin presets, unlike its hard surface materials. And Mari, in my personal opinion, is going to give you better results with the ability to handle things like 32-bit displacements and importing UDIMs properly from software like ZBrush. It's just a no-brainer for the time and the results you're going to get to me. If you already know Substance, a lot of people are going to be hesitant to, to then learn Mari, but I do think it pays off in the end. Category is complex scenes. So Mari can handle hundreds of UDIMs at 8K. It can get very, very slow, but when you bake nodes, it helps speed it up. Also, saving variations can be a little bit difficult as your file doesn't actually save as a version. But with archiving and other methods, you can get around that if you need to do, for example, one color of one character and another color of the same character, but you want to keep it in separate files to speed things up. I've had to do it before. I'll have to do it again, I'm sure. Substance can also handle really big files, but like Mari, it can get very, very slow. It doesn't have a way to counter that as much as Mari does with the baking, but you can turn off other texture sets while working or change the display resolution to help. Also saving its files because it keeps all the bakes inside the file can get really slow to save. I remember when I was on Detect Pikachu, sometimes it would take like half an hour just to save all the bakes of, of that asset. And I had to split the asset up into multiple files. Either way though, both the programs can handle big scenes. I'd say Mari does it ever so slightly better, but I've gotten equally frustrated with both pieces of software when I'm working with heavy scenes and you kind of have to use workarounds with both. Next category, baking. Substance, it's baking is amazing. I'll use it even for Mari assets and then I'll import those bakes to use. It's great, it's easy, it's great. Mari, what baking? So I think that there is baking in the expansion pack. I just haven't used it. But yeah, I will bake inside a substance or inside of other programs like Xnormal or whatever you want to use to get bakes out. UDIMs. So Mari can handle multiple hundreds even of 8K textures and UDIMs. It's amazing and needed to work on VFX projects. For example, when I was working on Detective Pikachu, the asset I was working on was 60 plus 8K UDIMs. It was a nightmare, but Mari just handled it. Substance. What UDIMs? <laughs> I'm kidding, it has a form of support of UDIMs in its texture sets, so you can use them. And with instances, you can get around it, but you can't really paint across the UDIMs or anything like that easily. It only really works for procedural painting, hence why I said I will start with a hard surface asset in Substance, and then I'll move over to Mari afterwards when I need to add details. UDIM support is supposed to be coming, so who knows what that's gonna bring, but at the time of me recording this, what UDIMs? Next category is usability in a VFX pipeline. So Substance is used in a VFX pipeline a lot these days, but very rarely is it the only software used. Of all the assets I've textured in my time working, I can remember just one that was only textured in Substance and that was a lamppost in the background. If Even if an object is majoritively textured inside a Substance, chances are you're gonna run it through Mari at one point at the very end to export or just to check the color space or things like that or add little details, or at least in my experience anyway. If other people, if other VFX artists have had different experiences, actually I would be interested to hear that in the comments. Mari's usability in a VFX pipeline? Well, usually it is the VFX pipeline, hence why I'm saying you should learn if you want a job in VFX. A lot of the assets I texture are using just Mari. Sometimes I'll use a mixture of the two, but most of the time it is just Mari. Price. So this one is really important. Substance is cheaper overall. It's $219, which equates to about £177 a year because everything's subscription now, and Mari is £519 a year. Ouch. Um, but there is hope. Um, there is a free version of Mari, the non-commercial. It has limitations like less UDIMs, no 8K texture support or 32-bit files, but for learning, for being a student or whatever, it's enough. Substance also appears to have on their website a section where you can apply for a free one-year license. If you're a student, you just have to provide valid ID. Uh, I don't know any more than that because I haven't applied for it or anything, but that is on their site too. Also, it's worth mentioning that Substance's subscription cost doesn't come with just Painter, it comes with the whole Substance suite. So final category is other things worth mentioning. And I think this is super important. So while there is Substance Painter, there is also other pieces of amazing software from Substance and Algorithmic themselves. We've got Designer, which is amazing for making tidable textures. So much easier than Photoshop um, in some respects. Again, it's another piece of software to learn, but it's super, super useful. And yeah, I just want to give a shout out to the Directional Warp and the Slope Blur and some other nodes in Substance that are bloody amazing. There's amazing filters and nodes and stuff in there that I don't have in Mari that are just brilliant, bloody brilliant, and so useful texturing. 
I haven't touched on it in this video really, but the other things worth mentioning for Mari is the Mari expansion pack. It's dope. It's kind of a must have if you have a full license. It only works with a full license, but it's basically this suite of tools made by this amazing guy. I'll put a link in the description. And I recommend if you have, if you have a full license of Mari, then get the expansion pack. Um, I kind of can't live without it when I'm at a studio I need it, especially when you've got just for the radio node alone. That's all I'm going to say on it because I don't want to go into too much into depth about that. And I will probably do a video on it itself, but yeah, um, the expansion pack is dope. So both of the pieces of software have all these extra bits that are really cool. So I think that about sums it up. That's the pros and cons of both pieces of software, but I just really wanted to steal what I'm trying to get across in one sentence. The reason I've kind of made this is because a lot of students and people just in general have come up to me and they'd be like, I want to be a texture artist. I don't know Mari. Do I need to? And it's like, yes, the answer is yes. At the end of the day, you will get hired by a VFX studio if you don't know Substance. If you just know Mari, you will be hired. If you don't know Mari and you only know Substance, the bigger studios, at least in my experience, you're not going to get hired because you need to know Mari to work in their pipeline. So that's kind of, it, it frustrates me when I've gone to universities and I've seen students learning. They're like, I'm going to be a texture artist, but they don't understand the fundamentals of Mari and how to use it. Because if you want to walk out of university and get a texturing job, the, the unfortunate truth is you need to know it. And I understand that it's a difficult piece of software um, to learn and pick up. But that's part of the reason I've made this channel is because I've gone in and I've, I've seen students in that situation and they're just not ready to get a job. And I they've paid a disgusting amount of money to be in that position. So I am trying to give free knowledge or whatever learning to help people be the best tech shot as they can be. So yeah, I would truly recommend knowing both pieces of software. Both pieces of software are amazing. But um, don't ignore Mari because you think substance is enough for you, um, because I would say it's not. Again, just my personal opinion, but this is having gone into universities, taught at universities, spoken to people there, people at studios, people in uni. Yeah, I just that's what I truly want to get across. Um, and I, I'm really sorry if I sounded harsh on substance. I, I think it's a brilliant piece of software just at the moment with its shortcomings. It's not viable for the main piece of texturing software in a VFX pipeline. Learn both, they're both amazing. If you're in games art, then chances are you're not gonna need to know Mari, but for VFX, that's not the case. All right, I've been Michael Wilde. This has been Mari versus Substance, potentially quite an inflammatory video. Um, I didn't mean it as such, but these are my thoughts, these are my feelings. Take it easy. Check out my channel for actual texturing tutorials. Um, yeah. Also, I've started doing tutoring one-on-one. -on -one. If that sounds of interest, get in contact. Cool. All right. Take it easy. Bye.